so a thigh strain for their skipper Azruddin, but uh, thankfully he's fit to play his 200th one day international. Kumble and Sidhu have both recovered. No place in the side for Kapoor and Ankara. No surprises too in the Kenyan lineup. One or two names I'm sure will be unfamiliar to you, but uh, I'm sure we'll learn a lot more about the Kenyan side. Chudasama on strike. Oh, and that swung in a long way. That started way outside off stump. Really did swing in a long way. Have another look at this one. Watch it start way outside off stump and ended up going down the leg side. Well, that's a good sign for India. Well, their field for this first over, two slips in a gully. They'll be uh, hoping to get the Kenyans out really quickly. They're the two slips. Gully and then two men on the offside saving one. They've also got a third man down on the boundary, so that's the offside field. Cross on the onside. There are two men in front of square saving one, and you can see in the distance the fine leg fieldsman, who's quite square. Well, there's the outswinger now. This really is very interesting. Not often these days do you see bowlers swing it both ways. We've seen two big in-swingers, and now the outswinger. Well, yes, Manoj Prabhakar is a master of the swing. And uh, he's added to his pace when he started his uh, career. He was really gentle, medium pace. Oh, and that one bounced a little bit. That's well bowled. And a big cheer again from this crowd, Karen Katak. Well, it's still uh, losing up time for uh, Srinath. And yet he's managed to get the ball to bounce. Uh, appreciably getting the batsman into all kinds of trouble there in these uh, one day matches you're better off settling for one making sure you control it you might get away with it uh, against these kenyans but uh, against really top class sides it can be quite tough well those are his world cup figures around about four runs and over he's conceding and he's taken 21 wickets so he's uh, certainly had a lot of experience and that's nicely played. Those are the first runs off the bat, straight down the ground. Chudasama getting that straight drive away for two. In goes the throw, that's well done. And they're going to get over throws. Just a little untidy by the Indians. They'll come back for another one, too. So. A run and two overthrows conceded, so three runs of that particular delivery. Oh, and that is a good delivery. They went over the top of off stump, tried to cut it, and uh, they don't often work. Well, far too early in the innings for Chudasama to be trying that kind of a shot. He's got two fielders in catching position Srinath has. And uh, Chudasama, very, very fortunate that he didn't nick it. No percentage in playing that shot at all. Oh, and down the wicket end. Well, Prabhaka giving a little message to the batter there. Get right back where you belong. That's the end of the over. 11 without loss. So Chudasama. In the air and oh! It's an awkward delivery to play. Pretty strong offside field now for Shudasama. And it's in the air and over the top too. Well played. That's running down towards the fence. This is an out, fast outfield. That's Kenya's first boundary in this World Cup. Well played. Yes, he picked that ball up very early. He saw that gap, and although he didn't quite get hold of it, it... Oh, this has got to be run out. If he hits, he's gone. He's missed it. Oh, the Indians. Well, all he had to do was toss it back to the fieldsman at mid-off, who was very slow getting to the stumps. These are the little mistakes that could cost India the World Cup. They are going to have to make sure their fielding is top-class, sunny, otherwise you won't get there, mate. Greggy, you're 
just jumping the gun, aren't you? This is just their first match. Where are we talking about the World Cup? And uh, difficult uh, take for Venkatesh Prasad coming in from mid-off. But uh, we've seen that uh, Otieno does like to charge down the wicket. Looking for the quick single. He's gone for it, and he's there. Right the way through, and he smashed that for four. Four more for Tulsama, end of the over, 22 for no wicket. That looked pretty impressive. Well, he's improvised and he's got away with it. Had to change his... But four more for Chudasama. Well, welcome runs these for Kenya. Deepak Chudasama again charging down the track. And uh, Srinath giving him a little bit of room outside the off stump. And, uh, and they, say they, they say when you flash, flash hard. Yes, he's got that away, and there's four more. What well, he made his intention known early, changed his shot. Clever. Well, he seems to be outthinking the bowler, Deepak Chudasama. Again down the track to Prasad. And hoiking him over square leg. Oh, well bowled. They fancy it. Well, that was lively. End of the over, 36 for no wicket. Chudasama's back on strike. Here he comes, and he's got hold of that as well. And that's four more. Now it's beginning to get serious. Well, he made it look so easy again, uh, Deepak Chudasama. No respect whatsoever for the bowler. But he's got it. Caught behind, Mongia takes the catch. And that's the end of a very, very enterprising start. Well, the wicket India wanted because Sudasama was looking dangerous. In two minds here, whether to go through with a shot or no. And in the end, uh, making it to the keeper. Here's the man for Kenya, Steve Ticolo. Top scorer for the last three years, so a lot on his shoulders. Down the wicket he goes, that's the way to play. They've got to get a move on, a little fumble at mid-off, but they won't get the second. In comes the throw, that's better India. There have been a few fumbles out there today. They've been working hard on their fielding and uh, that was much better. Sense of urgency on that occasion. Nicely played and that's gone through the field, beautifully hit. Steve, in fact, it's Kennedy Otieno driving down the ground there and uh, this place coming alive. That's what played. That is a short delivery and a lovely shot. Heaved over the top of mid-wicket, down to the boundary there. Well, that's his most aggressive shot so far. Otieno getting stuck into that one. Very good shot. Is that another guy? That one, that'll be four as well. Beautifully played by Otieno. Down the wicket he goes, whacked that on the up, right off the meat of his bat. Mid on had no chance to get there, and the Kenyans are enjoying it. Oh, and uh, that's out. Yes, I think that hit the top of the uh, glove and the handle, and he's actually walked. So, that's the end of Kennedy. Otieno trying to play the sweep shot out of frustration. The ball looked to me as if it hit partly glove and partly handle the bat. Just went straight up in the air. A little dolly catch for Mongia. Yes, there's top edge there onto the glove and a very simple catch for Mongia. Otieno had been trying to score. He has been doing everything he possibly could. On that occasion, bouncing too much. Kenya 65 for two. So the new batsman is the Kenyan captain, Moros Odombe. Lovely looking shot. A superb piece of fielding there. 
He's only a little fella, but he's got uh, a lot of strength in that uh, arm of his. And Azar has to be complimented for keeping fielders with fine arms on the fence because that can mean the difference between two or one. He just got something on that. Maybe just as well, it looked pretty straight to me. But he's got it round for four. And the first bit of initiative for some time comes off, but it was mighty close. And that's a loose delivery from Sachin Tendulkar, and uh, Steve Ticolo has been long enough to deal with uh, deliveries like that. No problem in dispatching it over square leg for four. Yes, Rankful tossed that one, and uh, they should be hit for four, and this one was. To be a little careful, you don't hit it down the fieldsman's throat. He didn't. Got the gap uh, down there at uh, backward square leg. So four more to the total. Over the top goes Steve Ticolo. He had to take his chance. And Norman Jawagal Srinath pits that ball up. He went through with the shot and had no problem in clearing mid-off the four runs. Yes, that's brought them alive down there. That wasn't a bad shot. Didn't quite middle it. I'd like to have gone a little bit further with it, but uh, have a look at this back and across, and uh, he went through with it. Good job, too, otherwise it might have popped up to mid-off. Got it over the top of his head, hit it well enough for it to run down to the fence for four. Yes, I think the Indians, you can hear the noise out there now, they're getting a little restless, they want a wicket or two. And again, but this time, uh, Ticolo gets it away to long off, and that's his half century a fine innings his first game in the world cup and he surely will be a very happy man well, there's a good answer over the top there's six that certainly was a good blow Stephen de caller has been carrying the fight to the indians Using his feet well there, that was a very good shot. Straight through the line of the ball and well over long off. Beautiful footwork. And there's the result. Now then. He's got that away. And that could well be four. It is. And this is just what the doctor ordered. Well, Tikola has been scoring runs all over the park. Not afraid to use his feet and to go down and hit over the top, and that was a very delicate tickle down the fine leg. He's got him. No, it's a replay. Adumbe making a wild swing. And Katie Francis wants to have another look. I think umpire Francis was about to give him out and then decided to after the third umpire. Let's have a look. Yes, I thought his finger went up. It'd be interesting to have a look at his body language. He's out, no doubt about it. I'm afraid a good innings has come to an end. The end of Adumbe. It's 161 for three. I think umpire Francis was definitely sure that he was out, but just decided to ask for the third umpire just to be sure. There he goes, well out of his crease, the bills are off, long before the bat is back down. It's 161 for three, Kenya. Hitesh Modi, left-handed batter, off-spinner. And he's into the fray now. Well, that didn't last long. Atharuddin takes the catch, and another wicket for Kunda. Raju it is, of course. His first ball of this next over, and he takes his second wicket. So many times when a partnership is broken, the other batsman goes quickly as well. To call on the Kunto, accelerate the scoring rate. He is gone, Kenya 161 for four. Doyo is the new batsman. 
Just about to face his first delivery, just 17 years of age, the youngest player in the whole World Cup competition. Couple here, Tendulkar coming in quickly, making them hurry, but they're through. Kenyon is not afraid to run two once the ball beats the inner circle. It's not a very long way out there, but they are constantly on the move. No hesitation, and once you don't hesitate, two always there. It's up in the air, and he's gone. Bat and pad. Jadeja takes the catch, and now it has a totally different complexion about it. 165 for five. Kumbli once more amongst the wickets. Left-handed Mordi playing for a leg spin there, expecting the ball to come back into him. Went away from him. Hit the outside edge of the bat, almost the leading edge, and just lobbing up onto the offside. 165 for five, Kenya. Well, we see Stephen Tekola. Here's his brother, David. Seven years his elder. Oh, he's hit that one down the ground. It's going in the air. It's going to be out caught, easily caught. Yes, he's got him. That's the end of him. That was way up in the air just for a second. I didn't think he'd pick the ball. Prabaka got underneath it, went to his left a little bit, and eventually he made the catch. So Adoya out caught in the deep. Well, I'll tell you one thing, Tony. Manoj Prabhakar there signalling that he didn't pick the ball up. His heart must have been beating really hard because he's been having a hard time there from the crowd. But judging it to a nicety and then signalling that uh, he didn't quite see it. Kenya, 184 for six. Asif Karim is uh, the new batsman, 32 years of age. He's the vice captain. Tito Dumbay on strike. Well, that's well played. He's got that one away very fine, and that'll go to the fence for four. They need to form a few more of those. Well, I've got to say, he was trying to get it away in that direction. Just move back a little bit and uh, try to nudge it fine, and that's exactly what happened. Here we go, the last ball of the innings. He's had a big go at it, and he's missed it. Well, that's the end of their innings, and they've ended up with 199 for six off the 50 overs. I suppose, to a degree, they'll be just a little disappointed with that, having got off to such a solid start. But uh, their run rate was always way below three, and they weren't, Sonny, able to finish off with a flourish. Scott, the, the first four batsmen all uh, seemingly getting set, 29-27 for the two openers. Stephen Ticolo top scored with 65 off 83 deliveries. I thought Adumbi was going to go well till he was uh, very sharply uh, stumped by Mongia off uh, Kumbli's bowling. But then when it got to the business end, the last ten overs, the wickets started to fall. Six of them in all. As far as the bowling figures are concerned, uh, three for 28, Kumbli, the best of those. Two wickets for Raju, one for 41 uh, by Prasad. The Indian innings is about to begin. A short delivery, played away beautifully on the onside. Deja has got it away for four. First ball, and listen to the crowd. What a start for India. It's well played into the gap. He's got it through as well. It's rolling down the fence. This will get to the boundary. So, Sachin Tendulkar off with a four as well. So, both batsmen have opened their scoring with boundaries. A lovely piece of timing here from Sachin Tendulkar. Just rocked back onto that back foot and just eased it through the offside. A bit of misfield, but this outfield is so quick that it still went to the fence for four. That really should do his confidence a world of good. Into the gap, that's four as well. Beautiful shot, lovely cover drive. Racing across the outfield, and it's brought all the Indians in this ground to their feet. Well, he's got that away, it's in the air, and that's going to go for six. No, it's just short. Well, it was just short of a length on leg stump. You can't bowl there to anybody. He's picked that one up beautifully and bounced it over the, over the line, almost a six. 24 without loss. 
Well, that's nicely played by Tim Booker. He's blasted that one through the onside field again. Lovely timing. And just wide of the fieldsman. And this is the difference between ordinary and class players. Class players hit the balls into the gaps. Edward Odumbe learning here early not to bowl on leg stump to any of these Indians. Because once it spits there, as you see uh, Sachin Tendulkar rolling his wrist there, beautifully playing it on the onside. Just drops that uh, left shoulder away just a little bit quickly. Well, that's a magnificent shot. As he hit it, I thought it was just going to run out to mid on. And it just uh, ran all the way to the boundary. Just watch this. Now this is a magnificent piece of timing by Tendulkar. He just stood up there and just pushed at the ball. And it beats mid on quite comfortably. This is unbelievable. He just leant back and uh, almost looked as if he were playing a defensive push there. And all of a sudden, the fieldsman was scrambling. That is what they call timing. Really good timing. Oh, he's got that away too. He's on fire. Tendulkar has smashed this one into the gap at mid-wicket, and that's gone for four as well. He's not going to waste any time. What a player. Very strong around that leg stump area, Sachin Tendulkar. And uh, Moment Martin Suji uh, straight around that area. No problem at all. He's got that one over the infield, and that'll go down to the fence as well. Because there's no way in the world you can bowl short to Tendulkar. Well, that's one of his favourite shots. He picks it up so early. And with the man in at fine leg, once he got into position, he had no problem in getting the placement right. So quick to get onto that back foot is Sachin Tendulkar. Oh, he's just picked it up from just short of a length and made a nonsense of it. Fantastic play from an amazing player. And four more for Tendulkar. Just watch this. Not that short of a length, but his eye is so good. He murdered it. And even for you, Tarek, watching this, it must be a, a thrill. Oh yes, it is a thrill. Such, such a nice, I think, or probably, uh, not really think, I think he's the best batsman in the world today. Another staggering shot. Immense power. And through the infield. At one heck of a rate. Could well go as well. Not much movement to the foot, but the back came flashing down. And there's four more for Sachin Tendulkar. The end of the over, 67 for no wicket. Good shot by Tendulkar. Right off the off stump by Ali. And beautifully timed, beautifully placed. Again here, Rajapali giving Tendulkar the room outside the off stump. And he had absolutely no problem in getting that front foot out and smashing it through the covers. Hitting it on the up in the end. Hit that one right at the end of the bat was that wide. This time a full toss and quite easily dispatched again. End of the 16th over, it's 85 without loss. And there it is. Beautiful shot by Sachin Tendulkar. And what a way to bring up that centre partnership. Opening partnership of 100 runs in just the 20th over. What a nice way to start the Wills World Cup for India. Opening stand of 100 runs, and here, moment David Ticolo pits the ball up. Sachin Tendulkar crashes this through the covers. He's 
been in there long enough to know how to handle those deliveries. That's a good shot. Hitting theoretically against the spin, not that there's a lot of spin out there for Asif Karim, but well placed. This really is a fine shot by Ajay Jadeja. It's the footwork that's made the shot possible down the track and hitting it wide of mid on. Four runs, moment it left the bat. Lovely use of his feet here. What a shot. Beautiful. No point in moving after hitting shots like that. A glorious cover drive that from Tendulkar. The man at cover and mid-off can only be spectators. Put right to the pitch of the ball and bang through the covers for more. The captain, Moisa Dumbe, coming on. Dumbe, who made 26 himself. Batted well in a terrific partnership with Steve Dakota. But that's one heck of an introduction. That's way, way over the top of the scene. That's six. Welcome to Cutter. Well, Ajay Jaraja is probably saying to himself, it's about time I also got into the act. He's been quite happy to take the ones and the twos and give the strike to. Sachin Tendulkar, who's been finding the gap with such a regularity. Lovely use of the feet there by Ajay Jadeja. He moves on to 40. That must be close. Full toss. Well, Jadeja's eyes must have really popped open. He saw that in Whiting full toss, there was a big gap. Uh, there's no fielder on the mid-wicket fence. Tried to go for that particular spot, missed it. Too anxious, I think. Asif Karim to Jadeja. There's one. And that's enough. His half-century in 76 balls, five fours, and that big six off Adumbe. Well done. Oh, he's had a go at that one, moved back and then pulled it away on the on side. It's gone down to deep and wicket for one. Will they come back for the serve settle for one? I think the problem there is Tony is Ajay Jadeja is struggling. Uh, when it comes to running between the wickets, he uh, seems to have a cramp. But the crowd certainly won't mind that because uh, they've got Tendulkar on strike. Oh, he's hit that one high, and it's going to be caught. It's on the fence. Will he catch this one? It'll be a good catch. He's got him. He's picked it up in the deep. Ali, the fieldsman back there, has gone running around and made a pretty good catch too. Rajiv Ali went a long, long way at Madon. He ended up catching it at very wide Madon, and that's brought an end to RJ Jaden's innings. Well, not quite getting hold of this one, losing his patience finally. And Raja Bali doing a very good job here, keeping his eyes on the ball and taking the catch in the end. So India loses its first wicket, 163 runs on the board. So Navjot Sidhu, the new man in. At the fall of Ajay Jadeja's wicket. Very impressive one-day international record for Navjot Sidhu. 93 matches, over 3,000 runs. And look at that average, 42.80. This really is good stuff. Career best of 134 versus England in 92-93, and that really was a match-winning innings. Yes, he's got an overall strike rate of uh, 73, there about 73 runs per 100 wicket, and that's his World Cup record. Just eight matches in the World Cup so far in his career, an average of 55. That's not bad. And he's apparently a very good player of spinners. Well, that is the last board of uh, the wicket-taking over from Asif Karim.
Let's have another look at that wicket. Uh, he tossed it up a little bit, and he did go for it. Try to get it wide over deep long on, and watch this for some ground, mate. He really did come a long way down there, and uh, eventually took it up against his chest. That's a good catch. Uh, 53 off 86 balls. Only about uh, 10 metres short of the fence, that one. Just a little bit more, and uh, it would have been over the top. Oh, and I've asked the question. Everyone's holding that up, and they cannot believe it. Well, I'd like to see that replay. Well, the Kenyans definitely thought they'd got Sachin Tendulkar here. Must have just come off the bat, but definitely uh, the decision going in favour of the batsman. He's going to have to go. This is him on his way, gets sent back. In comes the throw and it very nearly takes his head off. Well, they're putting some pressure on. This is good cricket from the guys from Kenya. Well, this really is exciting stuff. They put pressure on Tendulka. They've got the field in, not allowing him to take that single. So even after getting 99, he's got to earn that one run. That's well bowled. Well, this is good cricket from them. They brought the fieldsmen in, they're saving the one, they're looking very energetic. They're not going to get an easy single here, that's for sure. Absolutely riveted. Well bowled. There we are, so far so good. And another dot ball. There we are, all the noughts. Yeah, ball! That's a very good over. He's on 99, never scored 100 in World Cup cricket. And he's dragging it out for him. And what's more, he didn't let it go. A little bit of gamesmanship out there. Well, Morris, I'm going to up the pressure. Oh, no! Sachin Tendulkar dearly wanting that single, but the ball didn't come. He's got that away, that's it. A tremendous performance by Sachin Tendulkar. His first 100 in World Cup cricket, his fifth in One Day Internationals, and his fans are loving every second of it. Oh, he's hit this one, and he's going to be out caught. It's coming down. Got him. Oh, he's got him, yes. That was a long, long way down there. It went high in the air, and it looked like Martin Suji down there who took the catch. So Suji took the catch, and that's the end of Sidhu. Well, Sidhu had been bogged down for quite some time here. Losing his concentration down the track, trying to hit it over the top, not quite getting hold of it, and Suji making no mistake. So, second Indian wicket gone, 167 runs on the board. Binu Kumbli, the left hander, the Indian left hander is the new batsman, 167 for two. They need 200 to win this match. That's gone a long way and very straight indeed. Four more to Tendul The best place to hit straight over the bowler's head. You can't really set the field for that. Hit the ball straight and you will be playing in safe territory. That's gone. Found the gap beautifully, Tendulkar. There's a man out behind Square and one in front of Square. 
It's 182 for two. Tendulkar really in full swing. It's gone up a long way. It isn't going to carry. It's caught. Without Campbell, is gone. Trying to clear a long off. Likes to do. Not quite making it. David Tukolo, the man taking the catch at long off. And how often have we seen a batsman getting out when a single has been refused? Campbell losing his patience. Going for the big hit. And a well just cast there by David Tukolo. So that's an unnecessary wicket again. India 182 for three. Nayan Mongia, the new man in for India. India just stuttering a bit here, getting close to victory. That's a big hit. It's going, going, gone. That's the way to hit over the top, Tendulkar says. Uh, a little bit of a worry there because after he hit that shot hitting with the spin high into the crowd Tendulkar was uh, catching the, the back of his leg just a bit of cramp perhaps I look at Tickle this time from a powerful blow over mid wicket for a flying Tickle down the final. I'm not really surprised, Michael. Ticolo was asking for a tickle. And there it is. A full toss on leg stump. Quite easily dispatched by Mungia. Tendulkar hasn't hit the winning run, but uh, he was quite pleased with his performance today. A brilliant century. Very convincing victory by India. So a terrific start by the uh, openers from India, Jadeja getting uh, 53 off 86 deliveries, a uh, tweak of a hamstring and I think that caused him to throw the bat and eventually get out. Tendulkar carrying his bat through at 127, not out. I don't think Sidhu or Kambli will be too pleased with the way they followed uh, in the same pursuit of uh, Jadeja going for one and two respectively, Mongia not out for eight uh, getting the winning runs. The Kenyans used eight bowlers, as if Kareem, uh, the only one completing ten overs, he took one for 27. No doubt at all about the man of the match, Sachin Tendulkar. Wonderful to see the man.